Style Editor at Departures Magazine. Plaid is sort of always within the milieu of menswear choices. What I think is interesting about plaid is how it can come to mean different things at different times. It can connote something dressed down or even something counterculture in the tradition of you know, the way that plaid was used at the height of punk fashion, you know, then in early 90s fashion, it sort of made this counterculture step into fashion, but then on the other hand, it can be extremely formal when it goes into this sort of tweedy, traditional British use of plaid, you kind of feel you're in a British hunting scene. What I think is really interesting about this moment is that all of those references can be mixed together. You could, in the same look, have something very sort of formal connoting, a, you know, a British hunting scene as well as the post-punk tradition um, if you mix it all in the right way. Kind of like it like that. I picked the scarf. <laughs> Done. I think you did it. <laughs> Jared, I'm sorry, honey. Ta -da. That's the point, is that the rules are made to be broken, and that's the time that we live in, especially with menswear, which is, to me, this is the most exciting time for menswear. People are really opening up to the idea of mixing prints, whether that be a plaid or a polka dot or a stripe. This sense of play is more alive now than ever before. I don't believe that there are rules, per se, um, and if there are, the people that defy those rules, in in a thoughtful way are really pushing fashion forward. Like most sort of bolder fashion choices, you have to be someone that's comfortable in your own skin to be able to then put on the second skin that makes more of a statement. <laughs> I think it's all in the attitude of wearing because even if you're mixing something that you know, you might think clashes or doesn't work if you're just, if you wear it in a certain way with a certain confidence, with a certain, you know, posture, you're going to be able to pull it off. <laughs>